This recording is over the area of rectangles and triangles, which is something you're already familiar with, so this should be a pretty fast review. Remember, to find the area of a rectangle, you take area equals length times width, and this is the formula, A equals L times W. On your diagram, you should identify, oh, sorry, and remember that when you do area, no matter what, your answer is going to be in units squared. So on your diagram, let's identify some lengths to illustrate this. So let's say uh, one side of this rectangle is 7 inches, the other side is 15 inches. It does not matter which one you call length and which one you call width. So let's just call it 7 our length and 15 our width. We multiply them and we get that we have 105 inches squared for this rectangle. That is the area. Remember, it is units squared. Now, in an area of a triangle, it is one-half times the base times the height. And this is the formula written as one-half BH. Now, when you're looking at a triangle, the base can be any side of the triangle, like the first one. Oh, and again, area equals inches squared. So just have to remember that. Now, I've drawn an extra triangle on here, and I'd like you to draw that on your paper as well. Notice that I've picked one side to be 4, and I'm going to call that my base. Then the height is always the perpendicular distance from that base to the other vertice of the triangle. So in my first one, uh, the 7 here is my height. In the second one, this line that I dropped from the vertice to my base is my height. And if I have an obtuse triangle, I might have to find my height by dropping a, uh, a line from the vertice down to the base extended. Okay, so those are the three kind of triangles that you could have. Um, notice that my base is 4, my height is 7, and then I'm going to put that in my calculator, and I'm going to get that the area of any of these triangles is 14. And notice I don't have uh, units in my triangles. So I'm going to actually use the word units here, and it is units squared. All right, let's try to find the area of this polygon. Well, I'm looking at this polygon and I can see that it is a rectangle. So I know the formula that I'm going to use is area equals length times width. I'm going to just pick one side to be length and the other width, put those into my formula, and I'm getting that the area of this rectangle is 500 inches squared. Now, you may be asked to graph a polygon and when I take these vertices and graph it, I see that I have a triangle. Now, I can use any of these sides to be my base, but I think the one that I'm going to pick is RO, because that's a real easy base to count. I know that's three units long, and if RO is my base, then I'm just going to drop a line down from S to the y-axis to get my height. I don't even need to use the distance formula. If I cannot count on a coordinate plane, then I can use the distance formula to find the length of the base or the height. But I don't need to in this case. I'm going to use the formula area equals 1 half base times height. So 1 half 3 times and my height is 2. So this triangle has an area of 3. And again, I'm going to word, use the word units because I don't have a unit of measure. 3 units squared. Now, sometimes you're going to be asked to find the area of a composite polygon. And that is a polygon that's made up of simpler shapes. So the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to break it into simpler shapes, and then you're going to find the area of each of those shapes and add them together. So I could extend this line and have a great big long rectangle and a, a smaller rectangle. or I could break it into a long skinny rectangle and um, uh, this other rectangle that's 20 by 10. 
It doesn't matter. You're going to get the same area either way. So let's just leave it like this. And let's call this triangle or rectangle A and rectangle B. Now notice to find the length of rectangle A, I had to add the 10 and the 7 together to get this length right here. Okay, so I'm going to find the area of rectangle A by saying 17 times 2. And then I know I have to add that to the area of rectangle B, and the area of rectangle B is 20 times 10, length of 20. 10 is my width, and I get that it is 30, and I add the 34 and the 30 together, and I get that this composite polygon has an area of 64 feet squared. I think that's everything that you need for your practice.